that's enough? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. The thing got a volume on it? Huh? Go, oh, crap, it's going. Okay, well, here I am. I'm gonna to try to do an experiment uh, with some smoked bourbon. I got some cherry wood. I got a little Evan Williams uh, bourbon uh, because I don't want to mess up my makers uh, if I screw this up. So I've got some Evan Williams. So here we go. We're going to light up this cherry wood. Uh, I don't have a culinary blowtorch. So we're going to see if we can't get a good fire going. I apologize for the riveting video, but it looks like we've got something started here. The flame got bigger. Holy crap, this thing's turned into a blowtorch. Not really sure where this came from. Walmart. The Walmart. Who knew? Walmart had something that actually worked better than advertised. Here we go again, we're just trying to get a good flyer going. as per the YouTube video that we saw. If this works and I like this, I will definitely be going to get a culinary blowtorch. Most likely tomorrow. Nope, oh, there we went to crap again. How's that fire flame look? Does that look about right? Oh, there we go again. I hope you all are enjoying this riveting commentary. Even though only about four people are going to be meant to see this. like enough smoke to you. Just worried about this popping out. It'll keep burning. I think so. Alright, so we got good smoke, a decent smoke coming out of there, so we're going to put this over the top. Yep, I think we do have good smoke, decent smoke. Yep, I can see it filtering down in there. I can see where the culinary blowtorch would be a, a benefit. You can see the smoke going down? Yeah. yeah. So if I need to, I'll warm that and I'll heat those wood chips up again. You think I ought to do that? Like I said, I don't, I don't know. I've never done this before, so I don't know how strong to get it. So we'll probably just let this go uh, for a few minutes. You're going to put the wood chips down in it or you're just going to use the smoke? Yeah, I'll dump the wood chips in it. They say you can dump the wood chips in it and then filter it back out. We'll probably do that. I think I'm gonna to try to light this up. I'm gonna try something here. Tip in the back, whoop. Tip in the back side up. We can really smell that smoke now. Mm-hmm. Probably have enough smoke going 
just with what we've got going doing. Okay, so we're gonna we got a good flame going, so we're gonna clamp that down. Really get some good smoke going. That glass is hot. You can really see it going down now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's great. He said three or four minutes on that video to let it sit. Okay. How long do you think do you think that's been? Three or four minutes? Mm -hmm, probably. All right, so we're gonna guesstimate three or four minutes. We don't have a culinary blowtorch. We just got this uh, El Cheapo barbecue grill thingy wogger. Um, so we're gonna give it a shot. Thingy wogger, that's a technical culinary term. You're gonna pay for that one. I know, my daughter's gonna kill me for it eventually, but this whole thing is gonna be an embarrassment to her, so uh, that's okay. She ought to be used to it by now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this up, we're gonna drop those chips in there, and then we're gonna put the, the thingy back on it and we're gonna let all that just kind of marinate and soak and 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 be awesome. <laughs> Do I sound like an Iron Chef? <laughs> Jeff and James are gonna be like rolling on the floor when they see this video, but that's okay. That's kind of the intention. All right, so we've let all that kind of sit there and marinate and become fantastic. So we're gonna take our bar strainer. We're gonna take this glass off the top, a little bit of smoke, we're gonna swirl that around. And we're just gonna kind of slowly. I wanna tilt that on the edge so it we're gonna, goes down. We're there. gonna slowly make a freaking gigantic mess is what we're gonna do. Apparently I need to watch that video again. And we're still gonna make a mess. I don't know how to do this. Pour fast and tilt it. You're spilling that out of the glass and it's a problem. There you go. All right, so we're going to do All right, now I got it. Well, I spilled half of it on the counter, so that's awesome. Like I said, I didn't want to waste the good stuff. So anyway, here's this. We're going to swirl it around, and we'll see how it goes. You know, not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if it's any different, but it's not too bad.